Welcome back, my faithful Legionnaires, for a long-awaited episode of GTA 5 Mod Review slash Showcases. Now, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for all your support since we've released the last episode. It has been a while. There's a few reasons for that. First one is that there unfortunately hasn't been all too many mods that have tickled my pickle to actually do so that is one reason why um, there hasn't been too many episodes coming out as of late uh, reason number two is that I still haven't upgraded my um, system yet so you know there's lag and all that kind of jazz but I'm still trying to get everything back up and running properly so we can start releasing at least an episode a week um, so that way you guys have some content and come back to the channel and subscribe and all that kind of good jazz. We're actually up to a 257 at the time you're recording this. So that is absolutely astounding. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming and subscribing. Unfortunately, there's only a very small amount of you that are subscribed. The rest is like 97% or something like that on the analytics that show that there's not all that many people subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and the like button so that way I know you guys are enjoying this content. And one more thing to touch on. Like I said, there's not been too many... Uh, ships or vehicles that I actually would like to do at the moment so I'm putting it out there to any modder who knows how to make the add-on mods and all that kind of stuff uh, there's a couple ships that I would love to do um, a review on if someone can make them for us that would be fantastic one of them would be the SR2 Normandy from Mass Effect that would be a beautiful ship to do and you know it's at least somewhat to scale or any of the ships from Mass Effect I know there are some Reapers out there um, to review, which we will do eventually when we can upgrade our system. Uh, another ship series would be good, would be the, all the ones from Stargate. That would be very cool. Some more Star Trek ships, like the USS Enterprise E, or, or the Galaxy, uh, not Galaxy, the Universe class, uh, the Proto Star from the new ships, um, and also even a new version of Discovery would, would be very cool with the separate and the cells and everything like that. But today we will press on with our episode we are next to our beautiful nissan titan and in boba fett's book of boba costume because i like this suit i'm actually going to get this suit um being made at the moment so keep an eye out if i end up releasing a few episodes on that now let's hop actually i don't think we need to hop in i think we can just stroll over to our vehicle of the day which is none other than it has disappeared of course it has Alright Legionnaires, what we'll do is respawn it back in and you guys can have a good look-see at it, so bear with us. Hours later, a few minutes later, a little longer than a few minutes later. Then, by sheer coincidence, the next morning, montage, the next morning, many tic tacs later, flashback, and a flashback, the very next evening, and later, more moments later, one semester later, ah, graduation day. 15 minutes later, several months later, thousands of tears later, 16 paranoia filled days later, 6 hours later, later that same evening, several days. Tomorrow, tomorrow for sure, eventually, uh, day two, day three, day four, 3000 whoop. Who's later? Soon after. Today. Many hours later. 75 years later. 4 to 6 weeks later. 1 minute 37 seconds later. 1 debt to society later. 1 pair of pants later. 12 o'clock midnight. 1 hour later. 2 hours later. 3 hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, guys. Few moments later. 1 eternity later. 3 days later. 12 seconds later. 328. 
a.m. 8.01 p.m. The next day, meanwhile, at the Krusty Krab, 10 seconds later, 346 minutes later, much, much, much later, 3 days later, opening now. An extremely annoying shift later. Two very boring minutes later. Lot of boring math later. 24 hours later. One week later. One long angry line later. 72 hours later. The following Thursday, 5 minutes later, 24 hours later, much later. And we're back, Legionnaires, and we are looking at none other than the Alien APC from the awesome movie Aliens, so Alien 2. Um, I recently just re-watched all those, so that's why we're doing this one today. I know there is the Alien Dropship, um, we've already looked at that before. Um, I did think about bringing that one into this episode, but I decided against it, just because it's mainly about this vehicle right here. Now, the vehicle is fully functional, it has the top cannons are functional, lights work, and the doors open and close. So what we'll do is open up all the doors, so that way you can have a good look inside. Now what we'll do is we'll just go into cinematic mode and have a good look. See, it's got some awesome detailing. So this is inside the cockpit, as it were. So we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So as what Ripley and whatnot would see, this is pretty much it. Nothing too fancy. I mean, the steering wheel is the wrong kind of thing, but it will do for this purpose. Then we have our flame units, a few canisters, and then you got where... You've got the actual station and you've got a few um, pictures that actually show up which is really cool and you've got um, the life signs at the bottom there and then a good little seat and then you've got the alien pulse rifles or alien pulse rifles just the pulse rifles <laughs> and then where the team would be sitting along with the smart guns there um, like I said, all doors open and whatnot. Now, I do know this are not the tyres that actually come with my mod, or well, with this mod, I should say. Um, it's just my game seems to like to put different tyres on different vehicles for some apparent reason. I cannot understand as to why, but it does it anyway. Anyway, moving on. The paint scheme on this is really good. It's got some good weathering on it, so like it's been through hell and back, so to speak. And like I said, that turret at the back there does work and it um, does actually fold down as well, so it's got the little tracks just there, which I will show soon. And then, um, that's about it, really. Um, and we'll do a good little drive around. So what we'll do, we'll get out of this cinematic mode and hop in, close all the doors first. Close. There we go. And now we'll hop in and take it for a spin. It's not going to be an overly long spin, it's just a quick little one. There we go. So, like I said, the torrent is fully functional. Kaboom. And it functions like that. And you do have working lights, but unfortunately, you can't turn the lights on while that is up. Um, and that thing continues to spin and turn, which is a bit of a odd choice, but that's okay. So, lights off lights on, lights off, but it's still cool to have nonetheless. Now what we'll do is just a quick up and down the uh, runway, so that way you guys have good little look-see at what she can do. Now she does have a few different views, we'll do from the inside, oh no, that is the inside. Alrighty, fair enough. So what we'll do, we'll head off. a little bit of lag so I do apologize so I think we might take it out of that it seems to mainly only want to do it when we're in that mode there we go let's get some speed and she does have a nice little reversing sound when it's in reverse which is pretty cool she doesn't have the biggest top of speed but that is okay um, you can alter that in your menu log uh, menu log in the menu your mods menu so that way you can make it go faster or even slower if you want. So it's got a nice little beep beep. So we're not going to push it too far because it's already becoming very 
very laggy so what we'll do is we'll kind of just leave it there i know it's not the best i've ever done when it comes to a vehicle mod um in the series so far but but like I said, this is pushing it as it is, as you could tell. So, Lee Jazz, what we'll do is we'll hop out of the... Ooh, that was a good shot. Um, the APC and close out the episode. And there we have it, Legionnaires. Back outside our... Not our, the MP APC and next to our beautiful Nissan Titan. Still waiting for, you know, my own Nissan Titan or Nissan Navara in Australia to be at my front door. But, you know, that's going to be a while to wait anyway. So, Legionnaires, if you are one of those modders that would help us out um, for any of those ships or mods that would, um, came uh, that I requested or touched on at the beginning feel free to make them and link us so that way we can find out if it exists and whatnot so that way we can review it on the channel and we will do our best to bring it to the to the interwebs as it were and if you're new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe because that really does help us out i'm always looking at some always looking at our analytics so check if we have any new subscribers and whatnot and don't forget to f leave a comment if you have any ideas and whatnot i always love to hear from you so until the next time legionnaires 